Let us try this button. We're on Night Comet. We're on Cerulean. We should be good to go. I also really don't want to lose all of our stuff. I hear the music. I don't see a health bar or anything yet. It was up quite a bit though. Pressing. Hello. Okay. The exit is over there. I'm assuming they were gonna jump off of that and like land in front of us. If I had to guess, right? Because that would be dramatic as fuck for a boss fight. What was that? Uh, hello? <gasps> Come out from behind, I guess. Oh, fuck. Is that a dragon? It's a magma worm. Ah, shit. Okay, we're actually not dealing horrible damage though. However, I do want to try Rock Sling. It's about the same. Okay. Oh, I forgot to dodge. Um, let's go here. And then, uh, real quick. I believe we can keep running. Oh god. This is uh not great. <laughs> I don't know if I actually used it. I probably didn't. Fuck. I was in the fire and I knew it. Actually I do wonder if the boss is instant summoned now. Yes. We do want to pick up our runes. We don't want to lose them. I think I saw them up inside here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're also on Cerulean. Oh god, he's on stage two now, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh fuck, I didn't realize we were so low on Cerulean for FP. Either way, I think we're good. He's boss. Damn, we're like flying through bosses today. You're great enemies. Magma worm, scale sword, I jump for joy, and a dragon heart. Ooh. FP cost is 20. That's interesting. Needs 24 strength and 18 dex. Ah, that's why. Uh, curved greatsword wielded by magma worms. The shape resembles a dragon's jaw and is covered in hard scales. It is said that these landbound dragons were once human heroes who partook in dragon communion, a grave transgression for which they were cursed to crawl the earth upon their bellies, shadows of their former selves. We got magma guillotine for the unique skill, which is grab the scale sword with both hands as a worm would hold it in its mouth and leap forward, smashing it into the ground and triggering a blast of magma. Follow up with an additional input to perform a chopping attack. Noise. Gain power of the dragon at the dragon communion altar. Aw? Dragon communion altar? Where the fuck is that? Interesting. I do wonder why Millicent's story is tied in with the dragon. 
the magma worm. Maybe we should have summoned her after all. Maybe. I don't know how many runes we have. Ooh, that might be enough for a level up. Oop. Oh, that's dexterity. That would have kind of sucked. Wouldn't have been like the worst. But it wouldn't have been the best. That's for sure. All right. Level up acquired. We'll be a little bit stronger now. And uh, let's keep going. Well done, Lord. Oh, we're Lord? Daggers. Is this person waiting for us? What the fuck? Were they waiting for us? It definitely seemed like they stopped until we hopped on and then they're like, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh, long ass lift. We definitely still have to go back. Potentially, we might just forget about it later, depending on what's up here, I suppose. There's a void. I don't necessarily want to send that back down. Atlas Plateau. Try jumping. No, I don't think I shall. Oh, okay. We're up here now. Nice. Um, so we have no idea where we can unlock the map from the looks of it. Yeah, which kind of sucks. But I think we might be on the same level. Is where this would take us potentially I don't, I don't know how true that is but it has the potential of being true i guess oh and there's a side of grace right up here lovely lovely I don't like this though. There is also an enemy like right there too. Luckily they have their back towards us. I think. Let's activate that. We don't necessarily need to rest. Wow, there was more of them. Ah. Okay, that dude's dead. Just ruling. All right, or not? Expert dodge. I don't want to hug. I don't want to hug. I don't want to hug. Please, please don't. What are you, a fucking sumo wrestler? Um, I also don't necessarily want to rest. <laughs> Cause that's going to summon those guys back. So we don't necessarily need to right now. Hey, okay, this one doesn't have an item. Or chest in the back. The problem is I have no idea where the hell we're going. Because we, we don't have anything map wise that we can go off of where normally I at least have the map filled in so I can kind of kind of sort of plan um, ahead. But I genuinely thought Nakron was going to take us all of this stream, but that was honestly kind of easy. And I was not expecting Nakron to be that easy. I'll be honest. 
Straight over that way. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, expert jump. Pro parkour. That's simply the best. Seller or oh seller? Perfume bottle. Looks like three of them. There's also an item down there that we'll have to get after the seller. I guess. Let's see what the seller has to offer us. We've gotten some good stuff from sellers before. So that's good. Perfumer's Talisman raises potency of perfume items. A talisman depicting a set of perfume bottles raises potency of perfume items. There are gardens known only to the perfumers. Whether hidden on the fringes of the highlands or obscured by shadows inside caves, the flowers blossom in secret, waiting to impart their scent. Container required for crafting perfume items. All right. Glass bottles used by perfumers used to seal various scent compounds. Essential vessel for crafting perfume items. The art of perfuming was once jealously guarded in the capital, but after perfumers were drafted into service during the shattering, the art became widely practiced throughout the lands between. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know. I don't think we have any recipes for perfume stuff, though. Maybe that's what the item is over here. Who knows? Yeah, let's go night comet for these. Are you coming up? Ooh. Yes. Okay. I don't know how the fuck you just missed us. Genuinely, I don't know how you missed. Omen killer robe, omen killer long gloves, and omen killer boot. Wait, that was the omen killer? Didn't we already kill the omen killer? Interesting. Yeah, I thought we already had because we we did that with uh with Ellie, didn't we? I remember it. All right, so let's just snag whatever item this is and keep going. That's my goal. More perfume bottles. Okay. Hoping it would be uh, some sort of recipe. Oh, an item. Hey guys, how's it going? Lovely weather we're having. Anyways, I'm a go. See you later. Uh, I guess we go across this pond. By Thorn Sages K. Ooh. Okay. I could potentially mean a boss that um is not going to be weak to magic. It also looks like we're gonna need the night light spell. So let's go ahead and do this. God damn it. And then we cast Starlight and we're instantly gonna rest and then wake back up to get back that little tiny bit. Min max, baby. Uh, and now we go. Attacking require. Okay. Hmm. Well, there's a dude to the left, so let's go right. Or other other way around. Secret ahead, therefore try attacking. Asshole. Damn it. I right, know that there's somebody over here. There they are. That's Starlight shit. 
I should have tried Night Shard first. Oh, it's gonna be one of these, huh? That's gonna be obnoxious. That will be obnoxious. Hidden path ahead. Is this all gonna be like hidden paths? Oh shit. Raise the item. One of these is trapped, right? Like certainly Okay I'll take it I'm genuinely kind of surprised that they weren't both or one of them was trapped wasn't trapped I should say Gildan Kharin And another And a lot of silver fireflies all right Let me guess hidden path I mean, this one's just kind of obvious. Holy shit. Okay, night comet time. Okay, can I, can I back the fuck up? Holy. Just roll in. What the fuck? I thought I killed you. Again. In fact, maybe I gotta hit multiple times. No, just one hit. Huh. Interesting. Holy Candle tree wooden shield More butterflies, which I still don't know what the hell they do Black hood Oh and a silver I know we need gold. I think I don't remember what silver is for I didn't remember what is gold for uh, runes. <clears throat> I'm excited. I thought we got more rune farming helpers. Why am I trying to attack the dude further away? Am I dumb? Oh. oh We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine Did I not heal at all? Man Ow Was it not Was it not just Should be good. No, dude. It honestly looks like this is a secret. Yep. This way the rock meshed. Seemed to off. Okay, Stormward Key. Like that for us. Another couple of chests. Don't mind if I do. My grease. <gasps> Raptor talons. Oh shit. Golden great arrows. Interesting. I think we're about to lose our flashlight essentially. 
No running ahead. Why not? Why no running? Oh yeah, I think that's right where we essentially just jumped off. Yeah, because our runes are still up there. So I guess theoretically, if we were to run and jump, we might make it down here, but I, I kind of doubt it. Honestly. Alright, let us go ahead and jump and run. For that. Is this a clue? What did... What? <laughs> what? Okay, that leads down. It's over there. Let's go this way. Go fake wall. Get to some chests. Raptor black feathers. And a skeletal mask. Uh, skeletal mask that tightly grips the face worn by the assassins of Raven Mount. This ritual implemented... Imp, this ritual implement relentlessly digs into the wearer's face, preserving one's human instincts while dressed in imitation of the death birds. Yikes. So what does this do? Robe crafted with the black feathers of birds of prey. Worn by assassins of Ravenmount, a ritual implement for transforming into a death bird, if only by imitation, strengthens jump attacks. We are birds of prey, bringers of death. Aha. It does. Oh my. I mean, if we're talking fashion souls. I do kind of like the looks of it. It does kind of suck because I just got a cutout of the uh, of us being really bloody. Oh. Um, for the thumbnails and stuff. So I guess we just need to get really bloody and I can get like a close up of this outfit. If we're going to end up sticking with it. I don't know if we will or not, but we'll see. Make the night comment. Then we go down here. No down ahead. Yeah, I figured as much. And then we reach the bus. Fuck. Um. Okay, night comet. We're on four and three. Actually, it's not necessarily horrible for us right now because we can go inventory. Drink this, get all of our FP back. We're basically full health. We should be good. Black Knife Assassin. Where is he? Oh, are you just gonna be fucking invisible? You little baby bitch. Is that literally what it's going to be? Are you fucking kidding me? You're never gonna show your face? What the fuck? That's fucking bullshit. That's so bullshit. We can't fight that. This way. And then this way. And then... Fake wall. To the boss. Alright. Oh, is this a different entrance to the boss, actually? This might be a different entrance. Let's go. This is just a different dude. Oh shit. 
So there's actually two bosses. So we're using Night Shard. And it's dealing that much damage. Holy. Okay, not bad. We did it. Family heads, huh? It's a flail. Three bludgeoning copper heads attached to a handle by chain signature weapon of Necromancer Gareth, the heretical sage. The heads were made to resemble those of his wife and two children. Familiar rancor is a unique skill which gently rattled the copper heads to some vengeful spirits that chase down foes. The anguish of a spouse and children invites a cursed wrath. Interesting. We have 9k runes right now. So yeah, we definitely do not want to hit that. Um, it's on Night Comet. So let's do Cerulean. Okay, so let's do Cerulean. Actually, no, we want to be a Night Maiden. Yeah. That's why we came in. So is there just secrets? No. I mean, if anything, that would be the one. See, so if we walk out here. And then go here. Then here. And then uh, we're going to do some quote unquote cheating so we can power cast these essentially Aya Aya Fuck He um I did I do not know if we can legitimately fight this guy Because we can't we can't target him at all. Even though we know right where the fuck he is. Oh shit! I rolled, man. This is, I fucking hate this fight. It's stupid. It's silly. Yeah. Dude, fuck off, man. Jesus Christ. Like, at least step in my goddamn shit. <laughs> Give me a fucking fighting chance. Jesus Christ. Whatever. We're not coming back here. I don't give a fuck about those 9k runes. Ah, it's fucking dog shit. We can't do jack fucking shit against him. That being said, we're going back to Night Comet. And going back down. You guys are aggro? Yep. Oops. <laughs> a little bit of a goomba stomp there. Don't mind me. Please don't mind me. Please don't mind me. Please leave me alone. Okay, I think we're good. The bats don't realize that they can fly upwards. God, now we got too many spells on hand. Um, looks like there's a couple more. So I 
think mine be able to take out the little ones before we pack you up oh I forgot how much health you guys have uh oh Oh, no, never mind. You actually don't. It looks like you have a lot. And then we hit your weak spot, and you're fine. Alright. Smithing stone at three. One of these days, we'll come across it. Serpent God's Curved Sword. Curved sword fashioned in the image of an ancient serpent deity and a tool of a forgotten religion practiced on Mount Gelmir. Formerly used to offer up sacrifices, this sword restores HP upon slaying an enemy. So you pair this up with like overall that one um, set that means that you're overall regening health. And you shouldn't theoretically need to ever heal. Skill favored by dexterous warriors slash foes as your body spins. Additional input on that for follow up attack. Yeah, we're probably never gonna use that, but it's cool nonetheless. Um, so let's see. It looks like we missed an item down there. I guess would be down there and then you jump up there go over I don't know how much I actually necessarily care about that one item we do have a really cool outfit though I, I am genuinely liking this outfit makes us look really badass I think All right. So we still haven't found any of the doohickeys, sadly. Why can I not? What is still targeting us? Just going to sneak mode. Something's still aggroed on us. I swear to God, if it's a bird that's way over there, I'll be oh shit. Just want to look at the map. Hide in the bush. <laughs> They'll never see us. Let me open the map. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> this is fucking bullshit. Ugh. Like, if, if it can't reach us, it shouldn't be able to still have aggro on us. I hate this. Yeah, it has to be that big motherfucker. She... I was say, Jesus Christ, um, I went to sprint and for whatever reason, even though I was, I'm pretty sure I was walking forward at the time. It's just like, well, let's backstep. Why? Cause you, that's why. Damn it. Okay, we have Sage's cave, the abandoned coffin, magma worm. Is the abandoned coffin where we were before? I hope. Genuinely hope. Hmm. Let's find out. I, I mean, it is in the Atlas Plateau, so I would assume so. I would assume. Looks like that way leads to what looks like more of a dead end. So it would probably be up. Looks like there's a path through. 
so I guess let's try that. See what's up there, I suppose. Because at this point, we can't do anything except for buy puppets with Salubis. A ruler's mask and ruler's robe. Ooh. Ruler's mask. Mask in the image of a wizened, wizened sage. Yeah, wizened. Increases faith. Customary dress among lords in a smaller nation. Such a mask illustrates the qualities of an ideal lord, chiefly wise and possessing a certain defanged genitali. Huh? One at the society of a s at the center of society often finds these qualities most expedient. Interesting. And the ruler's robe gives us a lot of magic resistance. Negation, I guess. Xerius robe worn by lords in a smaller nation. Its fine blue mantle serves to provide its wearer's status. Got a lot of green to it as well. I don't know if we if we if we run into a cold area. I mean, it looks nice and cozy with like fur lined and stuff. So I I, I still really like the looks of this though. So I think we just stick with this. So let's continue. See what we can find, I suppose. We're just gonna keep going. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit. No fucking thank you. Jesus Christ, man. Is that Millicent? I think it is actually. That scared the fucking shit out of me. Oh. oh. A fucking dragon came out of nowhere. All right, there is a side of grace there, but we're going to go talk to Millicent. See if we just complete her quest or continue her quest, I guess. Ah, we meet again. Yeah. In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. The scarlet rot has stilled since last we met. Glad to hear it. Such, I've been able to continue my journey. Yeah, sorry. I took out the I thing without you, but... I realized kind of easy. if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. Ivy, you could have aided me in battle anyways. I just kind of didn't. Because it was an easy boss. <laughs> now I'm tracing the path Melania took. Oh. After unleashing the power of the Scarlet Rot during her battle with General Radan in the Kaled Wilds. I should like to meet her. This vanished woman. Good luck. I think she's in the north, in the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Okay. Now, I'm sure she's passed in. Gotcha. So I'm assuming that's where we will run into Millicent again. Is in the north near. Now. Millennium. Into gotcha. Okay. Very open area here. All right, let's go to that uh, shade of grace then. I suppose. So what is this place called? Erdgree Gazing Hill. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go here. We get golden soon. Probably still need like two or three. Or, or no, it's definitely three. I don't know if it jumps up to four at this point. Or if it will, hopefully not. But we'll see. 
Uh, should we just run? Should we just run out there and just see what's up? See if we see anything interesting. How many runes do we have? We have zero runes, so there's literally nothing to lose. Even if we die. Oh, God, I hope those things aren't actually alive. Oh, I hope those things aren't actually alive. Oh, those things are absolutely alive. Oh, fuck. Oh, cool. That one has a bow. Oh, shit. Well, either way, we're going there. Because uh, that's where the map location is. So if we had gone that way, we would have had it. Nice. Now all we gotta do is run back through this bullshit. Pick up item. I think that was a golden seat thing. There's some green up there. Interesting. Um. A finger reader. Okay. So that must be that staircase to the castle, if I had to guess. Is that one of those? Um, it looks like one of those Evergold things. We got a herd tree. Can we potentially fuck that dude up? I mean, again, we have no runes, right? So we might as well try. Although I do want to go back for that. Because at this point, if we die, we die. There's, apart from increasing the amount of deaths that we've had since playing, which I'll be honest. It doesn't matter to me how many deaths we've had. It's just a fun number to keep track of, essentially. Um, so apart from just increasing that number, I don't really care if we die at this point. This will camp right there. I can read them. Okay, lady. Fingers, please, your fingers. Yeah. There you go. Bless you. I didn't sneeze. Uh huh. <sighs> to the east, ruins of gold. To the west, the serpent sacrilege. Okay. Wherever the path leads. So shall you follow wherever the path leads. Only more sorrow. Oh. Tis a curse. A curse. The curse of Queen Marika. <laughs> Are you okay? Ah, fuck. Okay. So we can go east or west. East is gold. Uh, something about serpent to the west. I guess. Interesting. <gasps> A merchant. Nothing that suits your mm. eh, Maybe. Probably not. There is also that teleporter. That could just lead to adventure, essentially. It seems awfully foggy. There's an item down there too. But depending on where this takes us, we can always just teleport back and then get the item. Cause who knows what's through the adventure. Besides probably potentially death. Let's find out. At this plateau. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So it just teleported us to the other side of the place. Oh. Interesting. I think there's a person down there. Let's find out. He's trying to do. Okay, so the air tree's down there. I think we might be able to get to by hopping up over this. Hopefully. Come on, man. All right, we're gonna travel down because there's item. Can you hurry up, Mr. Shambles? You're leading us to this place? Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Thanks, bud. But that being said, if, if you if you didn't want to do that storyline kind of idea, I would also be down with that because I would love to do other stuff in that game too. As well, I would be down to do other stuff as well. Okay. So if you're on YouTube, you're more than welcome to head on over to the stream because every Sunday I'm playing this live on stream and uh you're more than welcome to head on over because uh right around noon eastern uh go for about four or five sometimes even six hours depending on what kind of shenanigans we get into and uh yeah see con confirm is sunday if you're watching this and it happens to be sunday you can uh head on over because if you're watching it by the time it comes out i'll probably be live other than that i hope you all enjoy and i'll see you all next time to loo